guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video today I'm here with a foundation review about a brand new foundation from Hourglass the ambient soft glow foundation I'll be showing you application before and after how it looks in natural light flash photo I'll wear it all throughout the day and show it to you at the end of the day as well with timestamps down below if you want to skip ahead because it's up for debate if I talk too much so <laughs> if you enjoy this type of video be sure to subscribe but let's go ahead and get started so this is Hourglass's latest foundation. As I mentioned, it is called the Ambient Soft Glow Foundation. Retails for $58 American, $74 Canadian. Hate that. Uh, comes in sort of um, frosted glass packaging, which I like, and it has a pump. Uh, I appreciate that. I loved the Hourglass foundation that was in the triangle, but I found that packaging to be so messy. This reminds me of almost like Becca sort of vibes uh, of some of their foundations and, and whatnot, but this foundation they basically say it's medium liquid coverage soft or sorry liquid formula soft glow and it comes in 32 different shades which is pretty good i picked up the shade 11 it's a little bit um warmer i think like i've lost some of the color of my face i've actually self tanned my face a couple of days in a row now um but it does seem to match my body a little more golden than perhaps i would normally go for but i did pretty good I have primed my skin I always prime my skin um, but depending on the foundation like the first time I tried this I used the veil mineral primer from hourglass because I thought hourglass mean hourglass but I did find this to be I don't know that I even really like this primer to begin with this type of minerally primer I don't I don't love the feel on my face so I definitely had a better experience with the glow recipe dew drops I think the milk grip primer anything else that was a little bit more hydrating for me underneath felt better so that's what I have on my face right now is the glow recipe Recipe. I'm gonna take out a single pump and just start with that just get a little bit I'd rather get a little bit than a lot uh, there is a brush that comes with this as well a really dense brush it almost looks like this which I'm gonna be using a small or sorry a stipple brush which um, is gonna give a little less coverage but that's sort of my preference uh, and I don't I don't love a super dense brush the most dense brush I probably go for is something like a like the elf complexion brushes the NYX 40 this type of brush but the brush that they advertised to go with it looked really dense to me but I definitely felt like when I used the original primer it looked streaky it looked a little dry on my face but with a more hydrating primer, I definitely prefer it. So this is about one pump on my face. I do still have some on my hand. It dries down a lot. Like to me, let me just look up on the Sephora app what exactly they're saying about this. But this is one pump on half of my face. So a couple of things about this foundation, it's vegan, liquid formula, they're saying it has a natural finish, long wearing, medium coverage, and cruelty free, a weightless uh, liquid foundation that delivers buildable medium coverage with a light diffusing effect for up to 16 hours. Uh, let's see, free of parabens, gluten free, vegan, less than 1% synthetic fragrance, I don't, oh, I just pumped that right on my nose, I don't really smell anything blurring white tea antioxidants protects against blue light what i will say though to me is this doesn't have a natural finish i would say it's a natural satin a natural matte it needs a little more descriptor because there's some that are like a natural glowy natural whatever this definitely leans more on the natural satiny matte side it's not flat completely but it feels and does have the, ten the ability or tendency sometimes to get a little bit streaky so you might want to use a sponge with this or after you've put it on your face just kind of get up close and look at it I'm trying to see what they recommend what skin types they recommend this for because I have my own thoughts so I don't know if, if you can tell what I mean about the more natural matte it, it just I think in comparison to a lot of the foundations that are on the market right now that claim to be a natural finish medium coverage this feels less natural and less medium than those but that's not necessarily a bad thing it kind of depends on what you're looking for so uh, I think that the coverage looks really good it does definitely give this sort of perfected look on the skin although my skin is still showing through it's just 
I think it's the matteness that helps uh, sort of disguise any texture, but it's not too matte that it's like highlighting any dry patches or anything like that. So it feels fairly balanced, but definitely doesn't feel as lightweight, I think, as some of the other foundations that are out there that are more tinty, which of course that is sort of more the vibe, but this definitely has a thick texture to it and that's why I like to use less of it with a hydrating base but I'm gonna have, go ahead and take some photos I'm very curious I feel like this will give me flashback but let me take some photos put on the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back the rest of my makeup on now everything that I'm wearing will be listed down below but I did just film a little get ready with me for Instagram slash TikTok so I'll post that down below if you want to kind of see this face come together um but I do think that this looks really good I have been wearing this foundation this is not like a first impression I've been testing it out this will be my first day wearing it without a setting spray though because I know that sort of divides people in reviews of the like primer no primer setting spray no setting spray wear it how you normally wear it but I have been wearing it how I normally wear it and today is my first day without a setting spray but um there is actually a lot of snow today got an appointment at the bank and then I think I might go work from a coffee shop because I spend too much time at home by myself <sighs> I'm gonna lose it so um I might have to do my midday check-in silently from a coffee shop but yeah I think it looks really really good so far as for the flash photos it turned out really well I thought here in my studio lighting you can see it doesn't look completely flat on my face but in flash photo I don't know why not for any reason in particular it just felt like the type of face foundation that's going to have flashback because I think it's a little bit more full coverage but my skin is still showing through and I thought it looked good so you tell me but I'm going to go ahead now about my day and I will check back with you in a few hours. Hello coming to you in some natural light I can hear Emily having some water you thirsty? I heard that cats like to have their water away from their food so I put this water bowl next to their bowl that the, their bed that they sleep in every day and they drink so much more water now. I actually really like this as a background as well maybe that's kind of annoying with the reflection back there should I film some videos right here anyways to the foundation while you're actually here I think it looks really good I was outside it stopped snowing uh, as much when I went out but my nose was definitely running wearing my winter jacket I was in the bank I was at a coffee shop in and out and I think things look good I've had it on for about four or five hours now it's worn away a little bit right here but every single foundation does I find when my nose is running uh, that time of year so I think it looks really great I'm gonna continue to wear it uh, for a couple of more hours and I will check back with you that's it it's the end of my makeup day now. I just, if you can see, I've got some lines on my forehead here. I just had a bonnet on. I attempted a nap on my couch and it didn't work. So I just kind of laid there sort of asleep. <laughs> but I was kind of laying on my face a little bit. And um, I think I lost a little bit of coverage here. Like I mentioned, a little bit here. Um, but that's kind of pretty typical for me. I think it held up really, really well. This is definitely the type of foundation that I think somebody with an oilier skin type would like or normal skin who likes something that's like a kind of a natural matte finish. If you have a super dry skin type, I like unless you're looking for, you, you definitely want to put a, a hydrating base, mix an oil in or something like that. But there's so many great hydrating glowy products out there that that's really not necessary in my opinion. But if you do have dry skin and you've tried this or any skin type and you've tried it, uh, be sure to weigh in below with your experience, of course. But that's kind of my recommendation of who might like this. If you're looking for something medium coverage, definitely on the medium high coverage, I feel like this is not something that I'll probably wear day to day, but I can definitely see myself wearing this evenings nights out when I want something that has you know good coverage that's going to last that looks really good in video in pictures on the skin in photos and in person um, and that has some some good coverage when I'm doing like a makeup look it's just not like a day-to-day -day foundation for me but I do uh, I do quite enjoy it and I'm happy with the shade match and I think the wear looks really good <clears throat> I didn't take a breath just then when I spoke. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to let me know down below what you would like to see reviewed next. The 12 Days of Foundation is of course coming up. And as always, if you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Samantha Jane YT, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.